Hey all, this is Nightmare Logging In, and today we're going to talk about Karnak and what makes him a good character. As you know, he was recently available in the arena, and I was lucky enough that I was able to awaken him. I put um, ten level, level 10 signature on him, so that's always good. Now, the signature, let's talk about that first. The good thing about the signature is that he shrugs off non-damaging debuffs about 35% faster, and he reduces his damage from poison by 65%, which puts, makes him very good for AQ, for any poison nodes, for story modes, for story mode that has any poison nodes. So that does make him useful. A little like Agent Venom in that sense, except that mostly it's with non-damaging debuffs, except for uh, poison. Now, the big thing about Karnak is uh, that fact is that he gets focused. And focus is, makes him a much better character because that means that increases his critical ring heavily. As you can see, 4,000 critical ring extra. Now, mind you, I know the numbers don't mean much, but that's a lot of crit. Critical rating. So that makes him very useful, especially on our crit team. Now, the only disadvantage is, of course, when he gets struck, he loses uh, focus for 9 seconds. But the good thing about that is not only does he become focused as he fights longer, but when you do a special one attack, he gets focused in instantly. So that makes him useful. The other good thing is that he has some physical resistance. Now, mind you, it's not a huge amount of physical resistance. This ain't Luke Cage or nothing. But it's enough physical resistance to at least make things interesting, to give a little extra defense. So that's always good. I mean, he would be good on a physical resistance node in AW, for example. Could definitely be useful in that area. If you want to play him defense, I'm not... I don't think he's a good defensive character, but if you did, that would be an option. And I'll go into why he's not a great defensive character afterwards, but let's not go there now. <clears throat> but, um, as you can see, he also has this weird uh, class disadvantage thing. When he's at class disadvantage, his, uh, he reduces it by 2% until it's gone. So basically, in 250 seconds, he reduces all his class disadvantage. It's not going to be used that particularly useful in your usual 30 second, 60 second fights. It will be very useful in, uh, let's say, um, Road in Labyrinth, things like that. That will make him much more useful because those are long fights. So if he can last that long, that's definitely something that makes him useful. Now, as I said, the other good thing about him with the special attack one, besides making him focused immediately, is True Strike. Allows him to ignore armor, resistances, evasion. So he that would make him very good against anybody who's an armored character or physical resistance character. It also would make him good against, let's say, Spider-Man or Nightcrawler who has a lot of evasion. So that makes him very useful. He's a very good offensive character for that. I do highly recommend him for that. Now, special attack 2, he increases the attack rating. I mean, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not as exciting as some of his other stuff. But definitely, 441 is still a nice attack boost. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, Special Attack 3 is when it becomes interesting. Because he dazes his foes and he reduces the defensive ability accuracy by 80%. That would be great against, let's say, Electro. You wouldn't be hit as much by his, um, by his, watch for, by his electricity. You wouldn't, it would be good against any heavy debuff characters. Can be any character that rely heavily on debuffs. Since you won't be getting hit by a lot of them. So that makes him very useful. I mean, also, I believe it means that he won't get bled as much. Poison won't hit as much, so you don't have to worry about 65% with the um, with the watch ball, with the signature ability. But like I say he is a very useful character. I mean, definitely strong. It's gonna be strong for offense. Now, defensively, I'm not as thrilled with him. First of all, and this is something to be pointed out, his special attack is a pain. You know what to get on. Of course, sometimes you can get one hit, but you won't get the second hit. And sometimes you don't even get either hits. He's, it's very tricky to get on. Maybe better to do it when he runs at you rather than um, using it as um, using it as part of a combo. It does work sometimes with combos, but it's not 100% with combos. It's just something to keep in mind. And this could be have to do with the fact that it seems like um, a lot of combos aren't working as well as they used to be. But it's something to keep in mind that this may be a permanent thing. So you can't necessarily rely on that. So it may be better to just wait for someone to attack, to run at you or things like that. Or wait till they're, parry, till they're parried or something like that. Or stunned or something like that. There's something to keep in mind. Now, since he has a class disadvantage, I figure the best way of testing it, of course, would be um, against Maestro, since everybody has a class disadvantage against him. See if it works against that. So I'm going to make my team here. This is a pretty good team here. I'm going to get, I'm going to get some stuff here, so let's see. I think this is actually a pretty, pretty good team. I can go with this. I like a lot of bleed. I'm, I'm a bleed person, so I'm going to go with bleed. I mean, I do have deep wounds at number two and likely at number three within the next few days. I love deep wounds. So, we're going to try it with this. Don't be surprised you have to use some health packs or, or, or I have to regenerate a little bit. I'm not perfect. 
I don't really care about the stories, nor does anybody else. Let's see what we got here. I'll go, um, I'll take this line here. Um, anything good here? This doesn't look like two terrible lines. I'm going to go with this. Of course, they have the Hulk, but so does everybody else. So I'll live with, I'll live with going against the Hulk. Don't care about that. Okay. I'm playing symbioid video at some point, but I'm having some issues with that, but... Let me show you at least find the symbioid. Always fun stuff. Yeah. I meant to use, um, and I screwed up there because I meant to use Karnak, but one non Karnak battle will kill us. Much. I'll be really using Karnak for almost everything else after this. This was my intention because, oh well. Oops. I tell you, thank God they fixed Storm because that was one character I really needed to see fixed. It pissed me off that they woke and they woke her up. They gave her in the arena at the same time that they destroyed her. So they fixed that, it looks like. So and now it is a good test. I'm going to use, use Karnak against him. The Karnak. So let's see what we can do here. I mean, just want to check what's on this. Um, Rewards more power and struck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care about that. Physical resistance. Now, this is going to be interesting because they've given him a lot of physical resistance. So now we're going to see how well his two strike works. And he can copy two effects. So we'll see how that works. But not, not a big deal. But let's see how he works against Hulk. Against a new and improved Hulk, I should say. Hulk ain't whipping anymore, in other words. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what this does here. Okay, see, he didn't get hit by the second one. Just to knock him over. I'm just going to run against my friend. Got that. I see, he's making pretty quick work with things. I was not having any problems there. Come on. Let's see how, how it works. Let's see how much it does. It's very hard to hit with the special, with the specials. I was just waiting until he ran at me. Carried him something. That was quite dumb. Like okay. I said, easy kill with Hulk. I mean, you can see that he's a pretty strong character. Got some true strikes, so you can see how that was useful. Right, right, good, good. I read it once, I read it once, once before that enough. Yeah, I'm not going to use Karnak against him, I'm just going to make it. Oh, I'll just use him real quickly. I love magic, he's, she's one of my favorite characters. Even on Awaken, she's a strong character and the best uh, power drain character. Now, the reason I'm not using one of my Wolverines is that uh, the real symbiote can't believe, so there's really no point in that. Still have the gem, but. I don't believe I just got crazy about my battle. Whoops. I'm gonna get killed. And power drain. I love power drain, but I love it. It's cool. I'm always surprised she's not ranked in the by people. I mean, but she could be anybody, technically. I mean, you don't like the specials? Avoid the specials. You can see what I'm doing here against them. I mean, she gets me, she gets me crit, which is nice. I'm not even using the Awakened version, the limbo one already. So. That should be game over. And I said, game over, man. Game over. Yeah. Let's get more chronic action. Science, I, I like that. I can definitely go with that. And I'm gonna go for. A, I'm gonna try go for a special too. This time, just show how much two strike, how much that does. Let's see now. You can see how much attack power that gives. Just watch the attack power he's getting now. I'm seeing a few uh, 676 crits, 1,000 crits. Oops. Come on, you can do it. Good, I got it. Let's see how much attack we get now. Yeah, it has 
Yeah, it didn't have much of an effect, actually. It didn't have more of an effect. So, I was two isn't it? Let's just see. Because I thought we'd get more out of it, but I didn't get much of it. Yeah, I mean, basically, you really want to use a special one in three. Two, I said, it, it's just meh. I mean, nothing great. Attack range was supposed to go up, but I didn't, I didn't notice a difference, obviously. I'm not sure if it's broken or if I'm misunderstanding how it works. <coughs> I think it was broken, but we'll see. Our next thing we might test is a special three. Well, actually, she's not even someone I really tested with. I'm trying to think how I would really test against her. I don't know if it would prevent. It may prevent limbo. Actually, that might be a good idea. Right? Well, prevent limbo, so I'll test her using that. Oops, that's what happens when, you, when you're not paying attention. But yeah, as you can see, she wasn't getting limbo either time, so defensive ability accuracy seemed to be working pretty well, which is always good. So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna fix him. I was gonna revive him, and I'll learn a lesson to be more careful next time. Use to heal. Yeah, just one of these. I mean, I don't need full strength. I'm at full strength anyhow. Just want to give you an idea of him. Nothing worse, I mean, I don't know what it is. Actually, some things don't work as well as they used to. I'm not perfect. This is a shocker. But you're not gonna win them all, but I still think I did pretty good there. Can't complain too much. My I have my Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin shirt to give me luck. Obviously it's working one just so far. So that's what we got here. I'm gonna heal him some more as well. That sucked. Uh, do I want to use a small one, the big one, or the big one? Okay. Let's just use this. Now, I'll, I'll use a few of these. Three, four. That should be enough for it. <clears throat> now, I'll fight Ronin. Basically, when you fight Ronin, avoid stun. Avoid stun is not nothing great. You can avoid stun, is great. It's a much easier fight, so. Basically, I want to avoid stun. Sure defensive accuracy should all prevent that uh, the special three should uh, prevent the stump so I'm gonna test that out. I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure it does. So come on. Come on. Boom. Come on. Don't myself be stunned bound, so much left here. I think Konic has some physical resistance, so I was breaking that with True Strike. I think, I'm trying to remember for sure, but I think he does. Pretty sure he was on that list. Okay. Now I'm sure we find a symbiote or two, so let's see how many I fight it. Skip, skip, skip. And. Why am I doing it? Yeah. 
Now let's go back to Karnak. Should be a pretty easy kill here. Should be, not necessarily will be, but should be. I'm in focus mode as you can see now, so I should be getting crits a lot. Right. I know it's coming out soon, that's why I'm trying to get I'm trying to I know it's gonna come out a long time if I don't I'm not okay. Anyway. That's the second that one. As you can see how good his crit is after he gets focused. I mean, that's really his big thing. He's, uh, he does lots of damage once he crit. Basically, if you're the type of player who really knows how to parry well, knows how to block, knows how to evade, I mean, this is a character for you, basically. Let's see if I more here. Shouldn't be hard. Basically, avoid sword. That's how you fight Gamora. Avoid sword. You avoid sword, you're pretty much gonna be okay. Here. Um, oops. Oh, so Let me back up so she can get the sword. There it goes. Oops. Oh, okay. I was to get the As I said, I'm not perfect. Come on, Swordy. There you go. I think he's supposed to focus on that. I think I'm supposed to come focus. That's it. That's it. Unfortunately, whoops. Yeah, that's why I'm going to get really, really careless. You screw up. It's not a proud moment. This should have been an easy fight. So. Healing in this. Should be enough. I'm not looking for miracles here. Just enough to make things interesting. She has 129 hit points. If I can't beat that, God help us all. Just one parry and one. Uh... Yeah. Can't get used to that, thankfully. No. Okay. And more con. So maybe we want more cowbell? I want more conac. No, oh, that's okay. No below before you even start. Don't expect that. This is why I should check to make sure I'm getting special abilities because I'm paying attention. And things aren't working as well. I don't know if I'm, I know I'm not the only one who's noticed some of my sensitivity seems off ever since they fixed the game. I know I'm not the only one who noticed it, but it's also one thing why you're going to do that. That should be enough now. And I'll add a little extra. Can't hurt.
see, two strike and focus right now is everything. I can turn the damage on. I'm gonna do it. Forgot that note gave him constant overloads, so that was really annoying actually. Just ask and then I'll use one of these. Actually I didn't have to. Uh, whatever. Almost up to the big the big battle here. Uh, shouldn't take long. Hopefully, I won't fight too many more symbiotes, but I'll probably fight one more. I respect. That was a perfect and perfect. Yeah. I said that's the problem with his specials. It's just they're very hit and miss. Can't rely on them too much. So either you have to parry the player first or stun them first, or you pretty much um or pretty much parry. He doesn't have a stun, but you pretty much have to parry him first or get him while he's running. That should work. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Okay, there's a second one. Uh, let's see how much I have left. Yeah, shouldn't be more, just annoying. Hopefully. Oops, my bad. Hit the special one because I've never seen two hits hit with him. He does a regular hit and then he hits the ground, even though the first hit knocks him out, knocks him to the ground. So I don't get it. That's one of those things I can't quite figure out. One of many people. Let's go with that. Let me get a lot of healing in. Much rather be using my Wolverine right now just to get done quickly, but I promised. And I try to keep my promise as much as possible. Yeah, that's pretty close enough to a uh, fault. Hey, if you're gonna do contact with you gotta use contact, right? No shortcuts. for heavy critting. So he's made for 15 pretty much. <clears throat> That's your crit damage team. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Obviously, it should be perfectly easy. How hard can it be? With Karnak. Yeah, as you see, every as you see, every guy is at disadvantage against him. So we're gonna see how well the class disadvantage thing works. We'll see how long it takes to get that percent up. So, pretty much, I'm good here. I fought Maestro once, beat him once. Wasn't too bad, so. <laughs> Same goes for last word. Oh, bad, yeah, regenerate. Yeah. You got me, I got healed like that. That seems fair. No. Come on, I know you wanna. 
No, you don't wanna. Come on. Oops. That was just quick. So my, the special one is much easier. The special two is much easier. Right? I do highly recommend you going back. Special one. Especially the last one has degeneration. I wasn't paying good attention to it. Come on. Come on. I can get it to the second hit. I was wrong. So, so let's go back to Karnak. Another Karnak, another time. Did, did, well, that shit didn't come again. That shit was embarrassing, actually. <laughs> but we'll try again here. Page 56. Close enough. Yeah, the class adventure thing didn't really matter much in that battle, but the thing it wasn't that long, so I screwed up in other words, so let's try I can do it this time. Big mistake with generation. I'm embarrassing myself right now, and I know, but oh well. The thing is, I, I'm going to use Wolverine right now. Well, not Wolverine, because I don't. Actually, let me check what his um, abilities are. Six powers combined. But, uh, heal, he has heal block, so it wouldn't have worked with Wolverine too well. Arc overload triggers every 20 seconds, which is a major league pain. But I'm going to try to do with Karnak as much as possible to prove that he's a good character. Even if it kills me. Very literally, apparently. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna heal, might as well do all the way here. Always oh, close to all the way, I only go perfect. Yeah, not worth about the 400. Heavily. Uh. Well, I'm getting my butt kicked. I'm just looking at this now, realizing how much I'm getting my butt kicked. He's healing more than I'm doing. That ain't good. Okay, let me th think this then. Um, I may not finish this battle. Maybe just use that. Say, oh, that's one sweet character. That's all good. But I'm also a little stubborn. So, oh god, my this is. Gross. Last attempt. If I don't come close, I'm just dying, accepting my death. And I'll just use another character. The problem, the thing is, the person I should be using probably is magic, in fact, but... I want to at least give you an idea. <laughs> and you get an idea that I'm getting my butt kicked. Apparently I'm not quite at Seedon's level. Well... Mistake. You think I would learn my lesson? Exactly. Yeah, I'm here. I'm not even going to do because of the overload. Just for fun, I'm going to lower him a lot with magic and see how that works. Because this ain't working pretty damn obviously. 
do a quick one with magic because I'm in my bucket, and then I'm just gonna end. And I'm just gonna end that part of fighting private with the other characters. I think I would learn much done with, with this one so let me at least explain why as you can see Chronic does have his very good uses I see he's a top 10 prestige as I said before when he's focused he adds heavily to critical rating as you saw that was that's a big thing the crit he crits a lot and that's always great now he has some physical resistance as I mentioned before which is very useful I can't stand looking this anymore um, now I mentioned the defensive ability accuracy is definitely helpful I, that's really the big thing is I get to 8% Defensive um, accuracy for 40 seconds, which makes a big difference. Um, he has that class disadvantage buff, which I didn't see much of a difference, but made me in a very, very long battle, which I didn't quite have. I'll admit, unfortunately, would make a big difference. He's capable of two strike, which for a short period of time is very useful since it takes away the arm with the physical resistance, etc., etc. The, um, I mean, every, that, that, that makes a big difference. That can make a big difference in that fight, especially if you can keep on getting on. But the idea is you have to play very, very aggressively if you want to keep True Strike on. So basically, just keep on attacking away. He's an attack character. That's what it comes down to. He's a character that should be attacking at all times. Now, the increased attack rating with SP2, I didn't notice a difference. So, in that. And when Awaken, of course, it shrugs off some non damage and uh, it, it shrugs off some the non damage and debuffs for some. 30, I think it was 35% in my case, and it reduced poison damage, but I think by 65% in my case. Now, disadvantage, of course, is as you saw, <laughs> hitting his specials, the special one and two, is a pain that you know what. You don't hit it all the time, and even when you do, you only hit one hit usually. You don't get, some, well, actually, special two, you, if the real times you do hit, you get two hits, but with the special one, you're only getting one hit, not the second one. So, that's, and unfortunately, that second one could also leave you vulnerable, so you have to be very careful with that. Um, now, I said True Strike doesn't have much time, but that's not. But you, if, you, if you're a very aggressive player, you'll get used to it. Now, who do you use it for? Well, I said against armored and physical resistance character, he's great because of the True Strike. He's also gun, he also should be good against Electro and any characters who rely on debuffs. I mean, so he, he is a very useful character. I mean, he does good damage once once he's critting. I mean, so I I rate him as a. I mean, he's not god tier character, obviously. But I can put him on this, I say the second, third tier, probably the third tier of characters, second or third tier of characters. So he's definitely useful. And, I've, and as I said before, you're getting a very high prestige character. And prestige, if people use, if people will keep low key for prestige, then they definitely should be using Karnak for prestige. So you'd be very stupid not to. So that's pretty much it for Karnak. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. And this is Nightmare signing off.